Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Chelsea and if you're new around here we like to do beauty related content on this channel. If that's something that you like then please hit subscribe and if you're already subscribed then please click on the little bell and you'll be notified of every time I upload. So in today's video we're going to be testing out some of my new complexion products which I'm so excited about because we've got House of Labs. So I've got the foundation, I've got the blush highlighter and also the highlighter. We've also got the iconic London Blurring Primer the makeup by Mario um, contour stick, bronzing stick, whatever it's called, the Givenchy powder, and oh, and also the P. Louise lip palette. So, we're going to be testing that out today. If you're wondering what's on my eyes, this is quite a dramatic fun colourful look then I have just filmed a video with the ABH Cosmos palette, which should have been the video before this one. I believe if it is live then I'll link it down below for you but yes it looks quite messy at the moment but I feel like when all my face is all done then it will look absolutely fine but yeah I'm loving it so far and uh, yeah you'll have to watch that video to hear my views on it if you want to see me test out some new makeup then please stay tuned so obviously we've been shopping lately we have been shopping and I don't know what's brought it on, to be honest. I think it's every year after my birthday, I always buy heaps of new makeup. I usually do it like this time of year and also Black Friday. And yeah, I'm in my buying era. So I've got a few more orders on the way. So <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I'd like to buy this for this video and buy this for this video. And then I don't end up using the products. So we're going to be obviously making sure... I use these products so please leave me video suggestions down below so I make sure I use these products. Anyway so first thing we're going to go in with are the Iconic London Underglow Blurring Primer. This is a weightless elixir perfectly melts with the skin leaving a gorgeous subtle soft focus semi satin finish infused with blue light protection, vitamin C and subtle pearls for a complexion that feels quenched and protected. So yeah I love 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 this bottle it feels very luxe but yeah I had a look on the reviews on the Sephora website this is what the texture looks like um, and yeah a few people said some good things you know and I've seen a few TikTok reviews I'm just going to rub it in with my hands this is a bit of a, um, a danger really isn't it to use a new primer with a new foundation and a new powder but yeah hopefully we can sort of gauge I'm going to continue testing these products out anyway just so then they'll be on my speed reviews so yeah that's it all blended in it's giving a really nice glow to my skin it feels a little bit tacky but not too tacky in terms of blurring i don't think it's really blurred my pores here on camera i think i look quite blurred but in person not it's blurred a little bit there but not here um but i have quite big pores there so is what it is but i'm excited to see how it wears underneath the foundation this is what i'm excited about so this is the house labs triclone skin tech foundation this is it's a clean cotton edge long wear foundation that delivers superior makeup performance without compromising your skin infused with 20 plus skincare ingredients buildable medium coverage luminous second skin finish ultra fluid weightless formula so this i got it in the shade Zero, oh, zero, 070 oh, Fair Neutral. I thought I got it in zero, 040 oh, or 30, oh, whatever it is. Oh well. Um, so yeah, so this it says Fair Neutral, but there's a few Fair Neutrals. So yeah, so this is 070 and you get 30ml of product in here. And this is what we're looking like. I don't know how much to use because apparently it's obviously buildable a medium coverage. I think I'm just going to go with that. So. Oh, I forgot to tell me. Oh, I've got it all over my bloody other makeup products. So I'm just going to dot this. Yeah, I think it'll match okay. Around my face. It feels it feels quite thick, but not, if that makes sense. I don't know. So to blend this in, I'm just going to use a Peach and Cream PC08 brush. And we're just going to pat, pat, pat it in. I really hope this is a nice foundation and it goes well with my skin because it's 40 odd quid. So it's very expensive. And I think it's a good match, to be fair, for like my everyday kind of foundation. It matches me, but I feel like it's a shade too light for my preference. Because when I put concealer on, I'm going to be a little bit of a ghost. But it's okay. So, foundations like this tend to mix with other foundations anyway. 
I don't know if I like it with a brush. I'm going to go in with a sponge. So it's given a really nice luminous finish so far. I don't know if that's the primer underneath or if that's the foundation. I'm looking so white. I wish I went a shade darker, but it's okay. I can always mix it in future. But yeah, it says it's medium coverage, which it is. I think I prefer going over with a sponge rather than a brush because it just it's one of those foundations that I feel like it just blends better with the sponge. I think I'm going to try to build it up a little bit more though. Just going to pop a little bit more on the back of my hand. Let's just go straight in with the sponge. Yeah, I think that looks really nice to be fair. I'm excited to see what it looks like when I set it because it is very glowy. I'm quite an oily person. Uh, well, like combination skin. But um, I do like a glow though. I like an artificial glow, if that makes sense. But yeah, certain areas I don't like to glow. I don't like to glow around here because it looks like I've got grease around my mouth from eating. And I don't want people to think that. But everywhere else. Yeah, that's got a really nice finish to it. So yeah, I like that so far. That seems very nice. Now the big test here will be to see how it wears. And I'm just going to go in with one of my new lip oils. So this is the Trigwell Cosmetics one. And I'm telling you, this is a Dior Jeep. Like even the packaging but this is yeah this is the cherry no the watermelon one and it's just so silky and smooth and hydrating and affordable really so next we're going to go in with a fine concealer i don't know if i've used this on my youtube i've done short videos on it but i don't know if i've used this on my youtube yet and i'm loving it so this is in shade c8 no 08 and i'm just going to pop that there And again, I'm just going to go with my sponge. I've been enjoying using a dry sponge at the moment. I don't know why. Yeah, I've been using this concealer basically every day since I've brought it. And I've been loving it. It's got such good coverage. It feels weightless. It creases a little bit throughout the day. But I feel like all concealers do that with me. So I never really judge a concealer by that now. Um, but yeah, it just wears nicely and I like the colour on it. So that I look like a ghost at the moment. I actually look like a ghost. Right, I feel like we need to warm up this face. So we're going to go now in with the Makeup by Mario. What's this called? The Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. So this is the contour stick and I got it in shade medium, which is going to be a little bit worrying really because this is what it looks like. Very nice sleek packaging. You've got one end stick and the other end a brush to blend it out with so we're going to try that but this is i think this is going to be too dark for this shade um but oh well we're just going to go in so i'm just gonna no i'm not going to go in the back i'm just going to warm up on the back of my hand and then i'm going to go in with the brush how do you freaking use this brush I don't think that shade's too bad, really, because I feel like it... No, I don't know if I like that brush. It's too technical for me. And I'm just going to go in with my Peach and Cream PC21 brush, which is a smaller version of my foundation brush. And I'm just going to... Yeah, that would be better. Oh, this is quite nice, actually. Oh, you know what? It's brought back a bit of life to my face, do you know what I mean? I haven't actually got any, have I got any new cream blushes? Yes, I have got a P.O.E.'s one actually I could use. Oh, I love that. That just blends out effortlessly. That is so nice. I find it best to just do it like this. Consider it's a medium and not like light or light to medium. I think it suits my skin tone okay. That, I actually really like that. I wonder how much product you get. Mm, you don't really get that much, do you? Considering it's like 30 quid or something. But yeah, overall, I actually really like the finish of that. It blends out beautifully, like barely any effort. And it doesn't look streaky or patchy or anything like that. Uh, I'm just not too sure about this brush. 
um, but I'm sure there is a little way of using it that I just have not been doing. So I recently purchased three new Cheek of It shades from P. Louise. So we've got Cutie Cake, which is a like really baby pink, which I think I might use. Uh, we've got Lolly Dolly, which is like quite a bright pink, which I could also use as well. And then we've got Ballet Slipper, which I think is like a salmon-y pinky. Let's get them all out. That's Ballet Slipper, which is quite a pale salmon-y peach. If you want better colour descriptions, shade descriptions, I would suggest looking on the website because I'm not very good at that. Oh yeah, Lolly Dolly is a very light pink. That looks really nice. Hmm, we have got quite a fun look today, so potentially. And then we've got Cutie Cake. There's Cutie Cake, which looks very pale. You know what, I think I might go for Lolly Dolly. I might go Lolly Dolly into Cutie Cake. Yeah, I think I might do that. So that's quite a pale shade. Let me just pop a bit more. I love the fact that you can just take off this, the puff thing. You know what? I do like the fact you can just dot, dot, dot. But I feel like the puff's quite hard to use sometimes because you have to proper squeeze it. And I feel like it wastes so much product. Whereas this, you can kind of just control the squeeze. It's not as messy as well. This one, this cute cake one feels a little bit balmy. You know what, I might even, I think it's a little bit of ballet slipper at the top there. Oh, you know what, I'm just going to mix them all together. How nice is that shade there? That's them all mixed together. Right, let's tap this in. Just going to use a Real Technique uh, buffing brush. So I'm just working it into my skin first, and then... That looks so cute. So my hair gets stuck into it. And I pop a little bit of my nose and a little bit up here as well. A little bit like when you get sunburned. Oh, pretty in pink. Love that. Okay, so we're blushed up. So now we're going to use the Givenchy Prisme Libra Radiance Loose Powder 4-in-1. So this is in the shade number 2 Satin Blanc. And this is what she looks like. Very, very small, but obviously it is a mini. However, I do feel like this is the same size as the blushes that they charge £49 for, which I think is a madness. I think I'm just going to go in my trig well. Do this and just get a mixture of the colours. So that's what it looks like. So in colour-wise. So you've got like a light, like a whitey lilac, a rose, a yellow and a peach shade. So I feel like that would be a good little concoction. So I've picked up quite a bit in my powder puff, so I'm just going to pat it into my hand. Oh, I like that. Look at the side, the difference. So there's the unset side, and this is the set side. And it's definitely blurred. It's giving me like a filter like. I love this. I'm just going to set the rest of my face. And I'm just using my Trigwell puff. Like normal tried and tested and loved and my skin is giving my skin is looking pretty flawless if you ask me yeah i like that in experience very much so head and bronze my face with my trusty mac give me sun okay so next we're going to use both of the house labs bio radiant gel powder highlighter so i've got the shade rose quartz and as like a blush topper and sunstone as my like normal highlighter so this says it's house tech powered with fermented arnica and silver vine extract and it's talc free if i'm honest i don't really know what that means like but this is what the component looks like for rose quartz well both the components are the same but how beautiful is this so i'm going to swatch it for the first time oh that is nice that's a really nice pink i just wish that they actually brought out the matte blushes on sephora uk because they've just released some new shades which look absolutely beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and use my beauty bay glow up brush so i'm just gonna i don't really know how much i need so i'm just gonna Oh, that looks really pretty. That just like blends seamlessly over my blush. Oh my God, I actually love that. 
Okay, let me do the other side. It's like not streaky or anything. It just looks like such a beautiful natural glow. That looks really, really, really nice. I, I absolutely love that. That looks beautiful. Um, I'm going to go ahead as well. I'm going to use two highlights today because I have actually got two new highlighters. Well, actually, technically, I've got a few new highlighters, but we're going to use two today. So we're going to use this one, which is the Sunstone one, the House of Labs. And finally, going to use my Rare Beauty one, which, like I said in my haul, it's been on my wish list for ages. So I'll use Sunstone on one side and Rare Beauty on the other side. I just want to try them out. So this one is Sunstone. Again, the packaging of these are so luxe, but what do we expect for 40 odd pound per component? I mean, it's spenny, aren't they? Now, I just like to take, when I'm actually highlighting, I just like to take a little eyeshadow brush. So I'm just going to go, let's do a swatch actually quickly. It looks wet. I wonder if this is going to be a similar sort of formula to the Rare Beauty one. So yeah, I'm taking that on my brush. Oh, that is beautiful. That is just blended effortlessly into, you know, I love that. That's really nice. I'm glad that highlighters are now coming back into trends because I love a highlighter. I never stopped wearing it. And I just think, I just love putting on my highlighter at the very end. Yeah, so then we've got the Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter from Rare Beauty. And this is in the shade Mesmerise. So this has got slightly a pink tone to it. So maybe I should have used this as my blush topper. But look, absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to use a different brush. Just going to use this fluffy P. Louise 1 to 1 brush. And oh my god, I'm so tired. Right. Unreal. Unreal, like they both look really, really nice. I feel like they're both quite similar formulas as well. Just this one's slightly more pinky and this one's obviously slightly more gold, but they look unreal. Yeah, I love a blinding highlighter. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with that. So then I'm just gonna set my face with the one size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. So this has been out of stock on Sephora for ages. And this is what it looks like. It's like a hairspray can. I'm gonna give it a good shake and just I actually fully sprayed that in my eye. It smells quite nice and it just feels so light. Like my face doesn't feel wet or anything like that. So I hope that it's actually, it has set. So it says it's waterproof, sweatproof, transfer proof, 16 hour mattifying setting spray, set your makeup on next level hold. And I feel like my face is looking pretty set. Like it's glowy where I want it to be glowy. So I feel like that has helped mattify it a little bit. I don't know if it's that or the powder. But yeah, overall I'm happy with this base. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line my lips. And then we're going to go in with the new P. Louise lip palette. So we now have the P. Louise Shut Up and Kiss Me lipstick palette. So this features 15 lipsticks, I believe. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the palette looks like. Now, I've got mixed feelings about this palette. Like, it does give me little girl vibes. I swear I used to have a palette like this when I was younger. Um, it's got a good mirror in and, like... It says, I haven't got much time to talk when my palette is looking this perfected. Got to make sure I don't kiss too quick or you'll become addicted. I don't know. I feel like this is very cheesy packaging. It's like that plastic is giving me Claire's accessories. I like the fact that the lid goes all the way back. But yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan, if I'm honest. But I am going to go in. Oh, I don't know what... There's no, there's no shade names, but I don't know what shade to go in with. Well, they feel quite like moisturising and like easy to apply like they feel completely different to the um doll beauty ones that are in the pro palette because i feel like that's dried up quite quickly and they're quite dry formula but this seems quite like a glossy formula oh no i love 
So I'm using this shade here and I'm literally just going in with this littlest bit and it's giving me pigment. It feels like a really nice formula as well of lipstick. No, I actually really like that. Because I feel like the Doll Beauty one and the Pro palette feels quite dry and quite a drying formula. This feels very moisturising and like silky and lightweight. Should we put a bit of this shade in the centre? Like it's quite a lighter shade. So pigmented. No, yeah, I like that. I really do like that. I am going to go over the top of the gloss, but because that's just me, I've always got to have a, a gloss. But I really like that. I feel like that's going to be a staple, and it's going to be so much easier as well when people do clients. But that's a really nice formula. I'm, I'm not too keen on the packaging, but the formula is a okay. And the last thing that we have to test today is the NYX Fat Oil. This is in the shade Follow Back and it's a beautiful like nudie shade with like gold reflex in it. It looks very, very nice. And it says it's a lip oil but it's giving me more gloss vibes. Yeah, I like that. I don't know if it goes with this eye but... I think it might need a bit more cool toned. But we're just going to go with it. We're going to go with it. I might actually use a bit of the Cosmos palette. Use a bit of this Quasar maybe. So that is the look completed. Let me know down below what you think. My skin is looking lovely. I'm really, really happy and I can see that these some of these products are going to be a staple of mine. If you want to see additional videos on any of these products that I've used, then please let me know down below. If not, I'm going to keep testing them and then I'll put them in my speed reviews with an updated review in a couple of weeks' time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.